Welcome to the Faculty of Science and Technology. My name is Tonian Williams and I'm your 2014 to 2015 Guild Faculty Representative. Now, I know a number of you are probably wondering, who is a Guild Faculty Representative and how is that person important to me? Well, before I get into all of that, let me firstly explain to you a bit about the UE Guild. The UE Guild of Students is the official body of student representation on campus. And every single one of you, every single student, upon being fully registered to the UE, is automatically a member of the UE Guild of Students. You should also know that a part of your miscellaneous fees goes towards the running of the guild. Like every great organization, the UB Guild of Students has its heads and leaders who ensure the proper running and functioning of the UB Guild. These persons are the UB Guild Councils. The UB Guild Council is comprised of the Guild Exec with the President, Vice President, Secretary, Treasurer, publications, committee chairpersons, librarian, in addition to the hall chairpersons and the faculty representatives. Now, as the faculty representative, I am the official liaison between you, the students in my faculty, and the rest of the Guild Council. Additionally, I bring your issues and concerns to the faculty administration to lobby and advocate for your issues to be resolved as best as possible. Also, as the faculty representative, I'm in charge of a committee of persons who help me get my job done. So you can always come to me, approach me, and play your part. Don't ask what the guild can do for you. Ask what you can do for your guild. I know a number of you are coming straight out of high school. So for example, in high school you had your head boy, head girl, uh, student council body members, prefects, class reps, and they serve you and uh, bring your issues and concerns to administration to ensure that admin remains student-centered. The guild basically does the same thing only at the university level. In addition to those duties, the UA Guild Council plans a number of services, projects, and initiatives to cater to your needs. And unlike high school where the student population was about 2,000 max, the UA Guild Council caters to the need of each and every one of the 16,000 students at the UA. So yes, the guild is a big deal. And I encourage you to go and learn and find out more about the Guild by visiting our webpage, joining our Twitter page, our Facebook page. Come and talk to us personally and also read your Guild constitution. Get involved, participate as much as possible, support the different projects. Just get involved. Now, a number of you are coming into this faculty and you've probably heard all the horror stories. Science and Tech is the hardest faculty on campus, harder than med, the failure rate is high, the students over here are studying all the time and they don't have any time for themselves. And honestly, it's true, over here is difficult, but you can do it and you can get that 4.0, 4.3 GPA, you just have to put the work into it. My encouragement to you is to be balanced, manage your time. A number of you are probably saying, with a, with a pass mark of 40, 50, it's easy. And I'm here to tell you that that's not true. As a first year going into second year, my experience coming to this faculty was basically one semester, which is 12 weeks, was probably like an entire unit of cake. That's so heavy the work is. So you really need to come and settle in as quickly as possible. Lectures are optional, but you need to attend every single one of them. Go to your tutorials, do your tutorial papers. Make sure your lecturer knows your name and your face. 
yes you need to build a good relationship with all of your lectures use the different services we have here in the faculty like the library different services on campus like academic support unit asu who offers free tutorials free exam revisions your best to get help form study groups manage your time set a study timetable uh, a to-do list don't sit, don't wait until the last minute to study for that exam. Don't study the night before. You will fail. This is not like high school. You need to start studying as soon as you, the mat is as soon as you start learning the material. Don't be frightened. As I said, you can do it. Success is attainable. You just need to manage your time well. Focus on the hours don't waste a single hour and don't follow your friends from the other faculty trust me they have way more time than you they're not doing eight hour labs six hour labs and all of the works trust me now no one wants to become a bookworm you have life you have friends and all that how are you going to do it you need to be involved on the in the different activities on campus this university has a wide range of organizations and societies to cater to all your different personality types, all your different interests, all your different likes. And even in this faculty, we have each department has an associated society. So biology has bio society, chemistry has chemical society, math has actuarial society. So you really need to get involved. There's so much to cater for your needs. Don't become a bookworm. Don't just live in the lab or live in your in the library or live in the books go out there and get involved it's the only way you're going to become a more well-rounded student yeah it's the only way you're going to become the ideal UE graduate so get out there participate support guild activities support faculty activities come september the 25th the faculty of science and technology will be hosting our freshers fete and we also have faculty auctions uh, we're coming with a number of big things this year to ensure that you enjoy your experience in this faculty so don't be dismayed just get involved schedule out your time well know when to say no know your limits right and i'm sure you you reach the limit. I'm, sh I'm sure you will attain all of your goals. I'm sure you will make yourself and your family proud. So, I'm looking forward to meeting all of you. I'm looking forward to working with all of you and getting your support. Yes. And look forward to a wonderful year. There's so much to explore. There's so much to do. So, get out there. You can do it, guys. So, see you next time.